in the midst of all his torments. That was in verse 4. They went around preaching the word. Even in that state, even in that state, the church at that time, they went around preaching the word. But what is happening to the church of today? They are just around complaining, wanting to fight physical battles. They want to fight physical battles. But the, but the Lord has reminded us, told us, the battle is the Lord's. The battle is the Lord's. We have forgotten. The Bible that passion that says, it's better to die for Christ. We've forgotten about that. Paul says, to die is what? Gain. To die is what? Gain. This is another part. In verse 6, in verse 6, he told us about another one. He said, they don't want to meddle themselves with the things, the physical things. They wanted to, they, they, they knew that the things about God is more important than the things that concerns the world. Which is, in, the, in, in, in these days, we have government things, jobs, contracts, politics. They've forgotten about what we are called to do. Meddling into the things that do not concern God and leaving the things that are paramount to God for the lesser things which the Lord has frowned at. How did we get here? These are the things. Persecution is coming. Yes. The body of Christ is being, is, is being persecuted today. Where should we learn from? The Bible. I see men of God complaining, talking about fight, talking about kill, talking about this, talking about that. But I don't, I don't see where it is in the Bible. I cannot find it where it is in the Bible. Fighting physical fights. Fighting physical fights. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There are so many things that the church has, has gone off. We've gone off. We've gone off. We've derailed. We've derailed. You see, you see, brethren, taking brethren to court. Brethren, taking brethren to court. We'll come back to that in 1 Corinthians 6 verse 1 verse 1. See, how dare you? How dare you? Stephen, while he was being stoned, while he was being, he was being hammered on why should he should do that, he was busy saying things that will hurt them. But in today's church, we'll be scared, we'll run and hide. Even while he was being stoned, he said, Lord, Father, forgive them. That is the church. That is who the Lord has been lifted high upon. That is the life that the Lord has been lifted upon. That's it. I don't know where and how we got to where we are today. The church is where it ought not to be today. It is left for us, you and I, to wake up and turn it around. They were scattered abroad, went everywhere preaching. They didn't run to different places to hide. They went, they are scattered. But they knew what they were supposed to do. They knew that at this time, I was supposed to be doing this. Then, 
Even in another land, I should be doing this. Praise the Lord. Even in their running. Even in their running. You see the IDPs. If you are Christians now, you see them complaining. Oh, we don't have food to eat. We don't have this to this. We don't have this to do. We don't have job to do this. Job. But these people were being chased, they were being persecuted day and night, but they were there scattered abroad preaching the word of God. Early in the 90s, you could not hear about how to make money. We don't hear how to make money. I can remember. You see, you can identify who is a, a child of God, who, a, a Christian at that time. And at that time, you mock them. We mock them. We laugh at them. It's true. When, when, you are, when you give your life to Christ, you know that there's a difference. But today, we are so laid back. The church is laid back. The church is comfortable. Now, maybe the Lord has brought, God has brought something to quicken us up. Whoa! We think it's a physical fight. We are in the, in the south. We are I think, I think we, are, we are sleeping. We are, we are enjoying ourselves. The last time someone was preaching and she was murdered, it was uproar. In the social media, everybody was talking. And you see Christians saying things. You, you don't ask, what have they been learning in church? What have they been learning in church? It was in the process of preaching that made them kill Stephen. There are so many of them. Why should we complain physically about someone that was doing the work of God and was killed? We, are, we ought to have gone to that level that when we see this We, are, we ought to strive to be like that lady. We ought to strive. I wish to be in this walk and be killed. We've not gotten to that level. But may God help us in Jesus' name. I want to be like that lady that was killed doing the work of God. If you say that, then you are a madman. That's the world. But how can we get to that point? How can we get to that point? In our cell meeting, we, we, we talked about something. And we talked about, we brought up a, 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 a point. In the body of Christ, there is no love. We are complaining about being persecuted. But in the body of Christ, there are people going through problems, but we've not looked at that area. The body of Christ. For example, see assemblies of God. See them fighting for positions. Nobody has stood up, said, oh, we need to address this situation, this matter. Nobody has said, let's address this matter. No. You see a pastor divorcing. Nobody has stood up and said, let us address this matter. Either in prayer or go to visit these people and sit down with them and let's talk this thing out. We are a body. We are a body. We are rather going out there to fight the persecutors. Whom the Lord knows what to do. He knows what to do. So as Christians, I enjoin us not to be part and parcel of that gang that don't know where they are. 
where they ought to be. It's high time. Enough is enough. It's high time we stand up and begin to do things that are, that are not normal again. Things that are not normal. Things that, that yes, let me die. Let me die. Yes. Let's get to that point. Stephen's name just came out in verse 6. That is his, his activities, verse 6 and verse 7. That's where it stops. But he did a great work for God. What have we done for God? What have you done for the body of Christ? In the body of Christ, what contribution have you, have you, have you given? What contribution have you made? Have we yielded to God to say, go to that community. Stay there. If God says, speak to you today, leave Port Harcourt, go to this community, stay there. What are we going to say? Until we get to that level, we have not started. Until we get to that level, we have not started the life of Christ. We, have not li we are not living that life of Christ. And no matter the outcome, no matter the result, we don't even want to know what the result will be. We just obey. We just obey. 